Morning folks, this is Dave Daniels from Thor Motor Coach and here is the Sequence 20A floor plan with optional pop top. Couple of notable features on the outside. Ram Pro Master, we're on the 3500 uh, chassis. It's gonna be 20 feet, 11 inches long. It's considered the XL chassis from Pro Master. Uh, one of the most notable looks is we're gonna use the window van here from ProMaster, uh, meaning we get all these nice windows along the sides of the coach, give you a lot more visibility, a lot more daylight inside. Uh, we'll be able to show you the window locations once we step in. Another notable feature I'll point out in the rear on this uh, ProMaster window van chassis is it's also got backup sensors. So as you're backing up, it'll actually make an audible noise uh, and actually pu pulse the brakes before you hit something. So that along with a lot of other uh, things we'll go through inside and I'd love to show you around, so come along with me. So before we step inside, uh, a couple things on the outside here, probably the most notable is you see the additional pop top on top. Now that is an option on the 20A floor plan. Uh, you don't have to get it with the pop top option. It's about $14,000 as far as the addition, additional price to the uh, sticker for you, but it gives you a 400 pounds of sleeping capacity. Uh, it's gonna be uh, 80 inches deep, so it's, uh, nice and long if you're taller you can still sleep on that and we'll get to show you inside what that looks like once we get in get up inside of there so here on the exterior we've got our 16 foot Thule awning this is an automatic awning can be controlled right here on the inside through your multiplex panel it's a one touch in and out so if you want to just bring it out a few feet and stop it you're more than welcome to do that you just press extend again if you want to have it come all the way out. Then we recommend you use these arms that are self-storing inside of the front here. So I'll let it fully extend for us. What's nice about these arms is it really makes that uh, a lot more stable and stationary for when even there's a slight breeze out, you don't want that automatically um, you know, coming back in on you or, or ripping off the coach. So there is no wind sensor or anything on this brand which is nice because then again, like I said, that gentle breeze isn't gonna pull that in and out. You do have a little latch on the side here that will release your, uh, your arm here. Then down on the side of the coach, you notice you have these little slots. You'll lift up, put the base of the uh, extension arm in there, lock that down in place. And now I'm able to put this out to the pitch I want it and snap that in place. Now we'll come over here, do the other side. Exact same process. Push that out to where you need it. What's nice is if there's a gentle rain or something, you can pitch it so it all runs down one side. And there you go, that's the Thule awning. What's also nice about this is if you did want more height, you can always take these poles and run them straight to the ground, stake them to the ground as well. See how that would work? Okay, so a couple other things here at the entryway. You notice the awning again is gonna cover the entryway. We've also got a nice screen door for you. So every floor plan will come with that nice sliding screen door. Get some ventilation there in your main entryway. Also notice we give you this nice long full length step at the side of the coach. You don't just have a small step you're trying to land on. Again, it's a window van, so you see all the nice windows down along the outside. Again, this is the charcoal exterior. Um, and basically we'll swing around to the back side of the coach and we'll show you a couple other outside features. So folks, if you didn't notice, we have here posted on the outside for 2021 model year, we are running a two year warranty on all of our ProMaster B vans. Uh, we had one year, bumped it up to two years for you. So it's a great selling feature and a great benefit to you as a consumer. So on the 28th floor plan, as we work our way to the back of the coach, you can notice here, we're gonna have a quick disconnect for propane hookup. If you wanna hook up a propane grill, we'll have 20 pounds of propane on board that you can load up. Um, also, you notice you got a couple outlets here. So we wanna plug some things in on the exterior. Uh, and then as we move our way to the very rear of the coach, remember how I mentioned we have those backup sensors you can see integrated in the bumper. Again, that's from Dodge. 
on their chassis. And then if you probably noticed already, we have our Thule bike rack. Um, it's a two passenger bike rack. It'll fit two adult bikes on there. This will just simply loosen for storage, pop that down, put your bikes on there. You've got adjustable um, straps for your different size bikes. You got adjustments here, real easy to use, real great benefit, real great feature to put on the back here. And the, you might be wondering, well, where's the ladder? Because um, typically you would see a ladder mounted to the rear door, but uh, I'll show you where our ladder is because we'll actually give you a Thule ladder as well. I'll demonstrate that on the inside here in a second. Um, you got your backup camera, comes on the ProMaster chassis. Uh, we actually replace the dash radio up front and give you a Pioneer radio so you can activate that rear camera as you're driving down the road. You're going to have a 3,500 pound hitch on board. It's going to be a 9350 is going to be your GVWR. 11,500 pounds is going to be your gross combined tow rating or vehicle weight rating. But again, you'll have 3,500 pounds available on the rear here. Up top, mention a few things. We've got an 11,000 BTU Coleman uh, air conditioner. Uh, we've got 190 watts of solar on board standard, but when you get this additional pop top sleeping area, like I mentioned, the panels are now a flexible panel and there's actually 200 watts of solar on board on this machine. 190 watts standard with the pop top, it's 200 watts. Uh, also on top, you're gonna have a WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi system. So that'll be, you can purchase gigabytes of data through WineGuard and get 4G LTE going down the road. Uh, you're also going to have an internet um, or a Wi-Fi extender capability. If you're at the campground, they have Wi-Fi. You can bring it locally to your coach. And third thing it is your digital antenna. So if you get to the campground, uh, scan your TV inside um, for digital TV. That'll also be ran right through that system as well. Here we are on the driver's side of the coach. So a couple notable things. This, you have a key to access to where you're going to fill up. you got a gravity water fill there. So that's all that that little hatch is, is you got a keyed lock and that's your gravity water fill. There's going to be 27 gallons of fresh water you can carry on board. You have a city water fill. So if you're, again, if you're hooked up at the campground, you can pull right from there. Uh, if you got enough pressure, you don't have to use the, um, you, you can hook up to the city water, but again, your fresh water is over there. This is your bathroom vent. Since you can't have your traditional roof mounted bathroom vent because we have a pop top on top. Uh, this is where it actually, we do have an exhaust fan for you, so it will help pull some of the moisture out of there. Now on the side here, on, this, on the 20A floor plan for the sequence, this will be the only floor plan that comes with a Thetford cassette toilet. It's going to be a five gallon uh, cassette toilet. And what that means is, is you have a lot more access when it comes to dumping your black tank. Okay, you don't have your traditional black and gray tank like before, and then you have to find a campground and carry the um, and find a sewer hose to dump that. So it's a Thetford cassette toilet. It does have a lock here, but it's real easy to access. You can pull this out. It'll have a little uh, safety latch down here that pulls out. You got your handle, and now you can take it to the campsite bathroom to the rest stop bathroom inside your house uh, a lot more dump capabilities um, and if you don't know much information on these cassette toilets uh, there's a lot of videos online of consumers uh, using their cassette toilet so um, real popular in Europe and it's something that we utilize on this floor plan again with the mid bath and the rear bedroom on it this will be the exhaust for the Truma on-demand uh, hot water heater and uh, furnace that comes uh, uh, the Truma Combi. You've got an exterior light. You can access that, turn off and on from the inside. We have a 30 amp cable. So you got a 30 amp hookup there on the outside. And then down at the bottom, you can see we've got a storage for your drain hose on your gray tank. So the nice thing about this floor plan, since you have a Thetford cassette toilet, uh, you're going to get a bigger gray tank. This is going to be a 20 gallon gray tank on the 20A floor plan. And you've got your, uh, your dump there as well. But it's nice we give you this drain hose already on board. And a spot to store it is always nice. Get the hose stored back in there for us. To the left of the uh, gray tank's uh, 
dump and sewer or in hose storage. We've got the electric solenoid and your fill for your propane. Uh, again, 20 pounds of propane on board, uh, but that's where you're going to fill it there. Uh, next to our 30 amp cable, you, or 30 amp service, you got your cable TV input. So for a portable satellite campground cable, you can hook up there. Then finally here on the side, we've got our entry step. Nice uh, solid step for you to get into. And if you didn't know, this is where uh, on a ProMaster you're going to fill up your 24 gallons of uh, fuel on board. It is a V6, uh, 3.6 liter uh, engine. It's going to be front wheel drive, gas. All right, folks, we're going to step into the cab of the Ram ProMaster 3500 V van. So here as we step in the cab, a uh, couple things that we noticed. So you got the emergency start switch right here on the um, dash as you walk in. We have two AGM 12 volts on board that are going to power the house. You also have your 12 volt chassis battery as well, and that will bridge the two batteries in case you need to assist power from one bank to the other. Um, pretty standard uh, um, as far as steering wheel, um, wipers, controls, uh, you're going to have uh, volume controls right on board. You actually, you'll have uh, cruise control. Um, this is an, a telescoping steering wheel, so it's not a tilting steering wheel, but it's nice leather wrap telescoping steer, uh, steering column. Uh, your shifters here, you have a tow haul mode, and then a very automotive, uh, obviously from Dodge uh, up front. So one of the things I mentioned is we actually re replace the, the standard Dodge radio, which would have two knobs and a smaller screen. And we put in this nice large Pioneer radio. Uh, you got all types of functions in here as far as Bluetooth, Spotify, uh, Sirius XM radio. Uh, you can plug in your phone. You have a USB port down here on the side. You got more USBs over here, but when you plug in your phone to this USB net left to the right of the um, steering column, you're get then going to be able to run uh, Google Maps, Waze, Android Auto, whatever you'd like to do, you, it'll show up right there on that screen for you. So you got a nice, uh, nice large screen, uh, and you're not having to fumble around with your phone. Uh, you can just have it plugged in for you. Some three cup holders down below. Again, 12 volts USBs, and uh, there's a microphone for when you do uh, want to make a phone call over the Bluetooth or when you're plugged into the Pioneer Radio. You can do hands-free calling as well for uh, a much safer ride. Um, final thing I want to mention up here in the cockpit is down below we'll actually give you this nice cockpit mat. That way you don't have to look at your standard Dodge um, ProMaster floor. You got this nice attractive mat up front and also we recover the stock Dodge uh, driver and passenger seat with a nice leatherette. Very comfortable and then it's no longer that cloth seat that you, uh, that you have standard from Dodge. Uh, up top got some more storage, map storage. Uh, map lights, reading lights, everything you need to have up front and your ProMaster chassis to drive your sequence. So a couple other things I want to point out is to adjust these ProMaster seats, you simply pull on the front, pull on the rear and that'll adjust the pitch. You do have forward and back capabilities here um, with the lever up front. But the final thing I want to point out is how to swivel the seat. You have this nice little opening here so what you want to do is you want to get that seat all the way forward. You want to reach down, press on that little tab inside of there, and then you can swivel the seat all the way around into the cab. These seats do need to be facing forward uh, before you drive. Otherwise, it'll be like your seat belt and it'll be beeping at you, um, telling you, warning you that the seat is not locked in the front position. These armrests are adjustable as well. Here, there's a roller on the bottom. Got the passenger seat swiveled around. To swivel the driver's seat, you, you're probably going to have to take your telescoping wheel and push it all the way down in. Bring your seat up forward and then pull that tab we showed you. And that'll allow the seat to then swivel into the cab. And then as you get halfway swiveled, you can pull it the rest of the way forward. That way you clear the steering wheel in the back. And here's how we... Uh, join the living area here with the co-captain and or the, the two seats up front. So now we're here in the facing the living area of the coach. Uh, notice down below you got a couple 110 plugs, a couple of uh, 12 volt USBs there as well. 
Here's where your dinette table is. That'll pop up in place like that. You can leave it as a smaller table, but if you want to get a nice uh, long table for a couple of people, pull those out. That flips down and over. Now you got your nice dinette across from the bench seat behind you there. A um, couple other things. You got a window up front here. We're going to have a couple other sliding windows in back. Let me just kind of show you how that rolls over so you can get your ventilation. If you don't want the screen there, it just simply rolls out of the way. Okay, and then you put the screen back, depress those, and it's a very automotive style as far as the window. Um, very clean look on the outside, as you noticed before. Uh, and again, that way you get your cross ventilation throughout the coach when needed. Put this dinette out of the way. Real simple. It's a drop down. And once you get it down, you got a strap here to hold it in place. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Moving up top, you can see we've got a, a nice upper cabinet here for some storage, but also what's housed behind here is your hookup for your uh, cable input. You've got your uh, uh, ports for your coax, as well as you got an HDMI port there as well. So if you want to put in a Blu-ray player, uh, you can watch you know, Blu-ray DVD right through there. If you want to hook up a satellite, uh, that's the cabinet that's going to do it for you. Uh, this TV, it is on a swivel, so you can bring that out into your viewing area, watch it from outside if you wanted to, uh, real easy to get to, and it stores back in place like that. So here on the uh, passenger seats, to grab the seat belts, you see it's a three-point seat belt just tucked in behind here. And you can bring that out and around. And you have the nice seat belts there. Um, you can obviously put a child seat there if you needed to as well. You just got to take off the, uh, the cushion so that way it's a nice solid spot for it to go. Uh, also to mention on the window here, we've got slow rise roller shades. Black everything out at night for sleeping. And... Um, down here below me, I've got a, a nice drawer here as well for nice little hidden storage. You might as well utilize the space down below. Final cabinet here before we start heading back. This has your water pump. And then you see a lot of shutoff valves. Uh, you see the red and blue tubing in there. That's going to be PEX tubing, PEX plumbing. So those connections are... Uh, or a high quality connection. And again, access to your water pump is always important because we know how finicky those can be in RVs. So stepping here into the kitchen galley, I wanna show you uh, all the things we have to offer. I really like this floor plan with the galley here on the passenger side. Uh, again, with the door open, you've got the nice breeze with the screen there as well. But we've got a stainless steel sink. You see, we've got this nice tall um, high, uh, faucet there again stainless steel keep going across we've got nice uh, 110s USB ports there not to mention this is a solid surface countertop uh, and then also I forgot to mention earlier is the cabinets we actually use a techno form cabinet so this cabinet is a lightweight cabinet it's not a solid it's got like a honeycomb um, real big in Europe they use them a lot on yachts but it saves a lot of weight easy to clean easy to maintain and it's not going to Warp, warp or swell with moisture in uh, these uh, high humidity areas that we're going to be traveling in. Um, keep moving. We've got um, our cooktop here with a glass cover. Two burners. Again, that pulls off of the 20 pounds of propane that we have on board there. And that will latch in place. And then to set it down, you just lift and lower. Just a little sponge holder there. Three drawers. There's all your goodies that come with the coach. Nice drawer there, and again, you notice how they are full depth. They come all the way out. You don't have that drawer that stops right there, and you lose stuff back behind it. It's going to be a 12-volt fridge. This is a 4.3 cubic foot fridge down below. It does come with an ice maker up top as well. Uh, moving up top, we've got our microwave. I really like this because this is our only setup where the microwave is not down below the counter. The microwave is up top where we're used to in a more residential setting. So you've got your microwave up there, um, nice glass um, protector for the cooktop when you're um, cooking meals. Then we do have a storage cabinet right here. Now this is an important cabinet because this will also house your controls for your Truma uh, combi as far as furnace and hot water heater. It is all accessed and controlled through here. We do have 
on our Thor Motor Coach YouTube channel a video of how to navigate through there and set, you know, boost your water, pre water heat for when you're taking a shower, um, so on and so forth. It'll actually explain how to do that. But that cabinet will house your, uh, uh, your Truma controls. What's also nice about or important about this cabinet here at your entryway is this going to have your BM Pro uh, Rapid Camp Multiplex system. So uh, it's Android based system. So, you know, if you tap the home screen, it'll look, you know, kind of like we're used to on a tablet. Um, but basically this orange RV Pro Master is going to be the program that we need to use and be familiar with. So here on the home screen. Uh, it'll show your gray and black tanks you can check. You can turn on and off all your lights. Uh, water pump, you can uh, go to climate. Um, shows you the actual current temperature. Again, you know, you can do all lights on, all lights off type of deal. You hit the tanks, it'll actually, again, water pump, tank heaters you can access. But all the tanks on board will uh, have tank heaters standard. But again, shows you the fresh and the gray. Awning adjustment, you can run your awnings. Again, retract and extend through there. It's just a one-touch automatic awning. Climate, pretty simple. Power it on, power it off. Cool, fan speed, um, pretty straightforward there. Lights, uh, these are dimmable lights. So that's what these little slide bars are for here. But living room, kitchen, again, real easy to go through. Front accent light, outside light for your uh, dump station, the awning light that we have mounted on there power so auto auto gen start so if you want to go to your auto gen start screen set it by time temper volt you can do that from there as well uh, start generator stop shows you the hours uh, again coach chassis batteries uh, your lp tank it'll show you the how full that is and then your bath fan you can turn off and on from the multiplex panel as well as well as inside the bathroom which we'll get to here in a little bit so you do have some hard buttons on the outside here these will be your four main lights throughout. So when you get in, you can always manually turn those off and on. But as you saw, you can run that, uh, run that right through your um, actual touch screen. And what's also nice about this is you can always, uh, with Thor Motor Coach, there's always gonna be a way to download a app um, if you're paired to uh, an RV Master app. So again, you got the four manual hard buttons down here that you can turn off and on your four main lights. This is where you can actually extend your awning. If you tap the arrow, A1, press extend, ex extend again, that's for the awning. Um, but what's also nice about this system is we can control this all, everything I showed you via app. So you go to PA, you download the RV Master app. It's this little orange symbol that you saw on the screen. Scan or scroll over till it says PA, press next. Press the extend button. Now it's gonna connect, as long as I got my Bluetooth on. And now, everything that I just showed you through there, I can now look at through here, I can turn off the lights. I can adjust, I can do the dimmers as well. Um, check my tanks, check, you know, everything that I just, again, showed you through the main screen, I can now activate through here. So again, RV Master app, BM Pro system here on the Sequence van. So here in the halfway through the coach, again, this is a mid bath setup. So this is the only fully enclosed wet bath we have here with the nice solid door that'll shut that off. The other floor plans will be a, a shower curtain. Um, so access to the bathroom inside, you're gonna have a, a medicine cabinet. Uh, for storage there, you got your shower hose hung up high. That is a, an adjustable shower hose. Uh, the sink will fold down. You have an adjust this adjustable high neck uh, faucet there. You can fill up your sink um, and just simply once you're done with your sink, you just lift that up, put that back in place. Hot and cold. It's got a paper towel holder that will actually stay covered um, as you close it, protect the, the toilet paper from getting wet. And then this is an adjustable toilet, so the toilet will swivel. So you can move it out of the way if you need to when you're showering or get it in the right position for when you need it. Um, all ABS plastic inside. Again, it's a fully encased wet bath. And also, uh, you can turn off and on the light in here as well. And it does have a powered exhaust fan, like I mentioned before. 
Uh, pretty straightforward and uh, real easy to use and a real great design. Again, Thetford cassette toilet. Uh, it's going to be five gallons of uh, uh, black tank there on your cassette and uh, we'll show you the rest of the coach after that. So here we are in the rear of the coach, the master bedroom of the Sequence 20A floor plan. Notice up top, this is all storage cabinets. Again, still those Technoform cabinets. Notice they are slow close. So you don't have the, we don't have the need for that push button that you have to grab and open up. It's a nice, uh, again, slow close design there on the upper cabinets. Uh, these are the cushions that will make into the sliding uh, sleeper bed back here. Uh, but down below, you got a couple more cabinets. This cabinet is gonna house a lot of the electronics, the inverter, you've got breakers in here as well. So there's not much storage in that cabinet, but as we move our way back, that is an actual whole storage cabinet there. You're gonna have another whole storage cabinet back here. Nice drawer, again another drawer, and then over on this side, this is a whole storage cabinet as well. And a lot of this is easier accessed um, with the back doors open, which we can show you here in a second, but that's all the storage that's back here. And there's one other hidden storage spot underneath this. You've got some flat storage as well underneath your sleeper bed there over on the other side. This is going to house your European style, uh, slat as far as what makes that into a whole sofa bed, but you need to know what's underneath this as well. Is this going to have access? to your uh, fresh water storage tank, as well as your whole house filter. Uh, so all the fresh water is gonna be ran through the filter, which you can change, uh, and that's accessed right inside of here. So in order to make the bed, I'll step out back here. And what we're gonna do is, this is just simply going to slide over. It's going to rest over on the other side here. Then we take this cushion, fill in between. And now we've got a 66 by 72 inch sleeping area back here. So just for a point of reference, I'm five feet 10 and you can see how much room I have here and you can see how wide this bed actually is. Also back here, you notice uh, we're going to have two screened windows either side of the bed. So you want to get some ventilation at night. You got a nice cool breeze. Slide that open there. And again, you can adjust it to many different positions, but there you get some nice cross ventilation across your sleeping area. Again, you'll have the roller shades to night out all those windows. You're gonna have some tap lights up above for reading lights. Also, you've got these lights here as well that will come in handy as reading lights at night. And that will be your sleeper here in the 20A floor plan. Now that I've shown you the rear sleeper here in the 20A floor plan, let's take a peek at that optional pop top we got on board. 400 pounds of capacity, and it is a beautiful sleeping area. We'll take a peek at here next. I'm going to show you how to actually deploy and get up inside of the sky bunk sleeping area here on the inside. So you have a couple safety latches left and right. It's going to have a safety latch here. You're going to undo, give this a twist to unlock the uh, bunk. You're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. Give it a twist to unlock, make sure those are clear. And now we just simply push, straight up it has hydraulic struts that you see lifted up into the sky also you notice up top straight on top of the sky bunk what's nice about this floor plan is whether you get the sky bunk or no sky bunk you will always get that skylight up top there for extra ventilation it does have a uh, shade and a screen there as well if you did want to pop that open or shut it out from the daylight so up top here also, you will find housed is the two-piece ladder. So has two pieces here. What we'll do is we'll simply 
slide these together. These will then lock in place. It has some slots up top for that to lock into. And then this is how we access our sky bunk. So up top here on the sky bunk, you're gonna have a 60 by 80 inch sleeping area. You know, I'm five feet 10 and you can see how much room I have. What's nice is I've got a screen here on my right that I can zip up out of the way. We have a window here on the left uh, that we can zip out the daylight, but that way we can have daylight in here without having to have a screen open. And then we have a third screen opening up front. Um, also, I mentioned the skylight, real easy to use. Pop open for full vent, you know, partial vent or closed. And then like I mentioned, we can shut that out for day, daytime. And then if we wanted to leave it open for some ventilation, you also got a nice screen there. Pretty easy to navigate. Um, and it's a beautiful design for when you want to sleep four people in this machine. One last feature here on the back of this floor plan, specifically on the 20A floor plan, we do have this rear screen that comes standard. And what's nice about that is it just latches in place all the way around. And then you got the magnetic breakaway here in the center. So real easy to get to. That should reseal back in the center. Then when, when you want to step out, nice and easy. Standing at the back of the coach here, uh, pointed out the bike rack mounted to the rear door, but also I mentioned that there's no rear ladder mounted to the door. So how do we get access to the roof? You notice this Thule um, magnet here mounted to the rear door. This is going to be part of our portable ladder design. Here you've got the Thule adjusting ladder. So it, this is a real unique design. What's kind of neat about it is once I get this magnet mounted to the extending ladder here, then I have the ability to go all the way around the coach and access the roof real easy. And I'll show you how. So this will just extend all the way up, 500 pound capacity. Get that locked in place. And now, that'll just stick to the side of the coach. I can get up, I can check my roof seals, I can wipe down my solar panel, I can check out my roof air. Uh, real easy to use, real unique ladder system. We don't have to rely on a, a roof rack or anything like that and say I needed to go down a little bit further. You just come down, give a little twist off the coach and simply move it on down. Real simple. And finally, I'll show you how to store this back away. You see down here, You've got these two tabs. You just start these two tabs and then it will self store all the way down to the original size. Make sure we disconnect the magnet. Put the magnet back on the door. Strap that back up and this will fit in the overhead storage on the inside if you want to, or some customers have even just stored it back in the rear of the coach. Inside every sequence, you're gonna find these shade coverings here, and they have magnets inside. Now these will be for your driver passenger doors, as well as the rear two doors that are on the uh, back of the ProMaster. So what's nice is, is these are all individually shaped 
to fit each window. You just start at the top. These all magnet all the way down the side magnets. And there you have your privacy. Also, we have another one up front for the windshield. And I'll show you how that is done. We'll relocate inside and I'll show you how to put that one up here in a second. And for the front windshield, what we're gonna find is you're gonna find this folding windshield visor or shade. So pretty easy to set up. It is custom fit for our ProMaster. So you simply find the right side up. And the right side up is where this cutout is because that's going to be where it's got to fit past your rear view mirror. But simply take it, get it up on top. Open it up. Make sure it slips back past there. And once you get it set in place, you then flip down your visors. And that'll hold it there in its spot. There's going to be your front windshield privacy.